Sympathy for Lady Vengeance, or Lady Vengeance, depends on who you're asking. After being wrongfully imprisoned for 13 years and having her child taken away from her, a woman seeks revenge through increasingly brutal means. So we're gonna finally finish off the Vengeance trilogy with the movie I watched second. Okay, so Lady Vengeance is my favorite film in the Vengeance trilogy. Technically, Old Boy is my least favorite of the three, which isn't saying anything. I'm not saying Old Boy is bad. These are all very incredible. Four and a half, five star movies. Those are my ratings. You could have different ones. That's fine. We're both right. We're both wrong. Let's move forward. Park Chan-wook directed all three, although they were different cinematographers for all three, which I found quite interesting because a lot of the tricks that were used throughout the non-connected series did seem present and visual storytelling was was certainly present one of my favorite teachers from film school told me that if you can watch a film on mute and still get what's going on in the story they're telling the story visually well and uh well i, I could watch this movie well, not on mute. I, I could watch it without the subtitles and, and and get what's going. I don't I don't speak Korean, so that's that's the joke. I, I guess I'm gonna constantly compare this to the other two films in the Vengeance trilogy. This is probably the probably the darkest, actually, the darkest, and uh, while still shining off that 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 black humor that dark humor um it probably does it the least so i'm gonna butcher the name i don't remember hearing the name said gyumja g-e-u-m dash j-a i'm gonna call her gumja gyumja gyumja uh protagonist early on in the film you're not really sure if she is uh, a good person, a bad person, an anti-hero. Um, but as you go back and forth throughout time, she just constantly does good deeds for people in prison. And you, you find yourself asking, what, 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 what is the story with this? Why, why, what's happening? Not to, we're, we're gonna avoid spoilers for this one because there's some stuff that, that comes along in this film that I think is, is really, really incredible some imagery that's just straight bonkers. She has a dream where uh, she's got a, a, she's pulling a, a, a dog's body with a man's head on a sled and it's snowy and then she shoots the, the man's head and that, that's Japanese cinema right there. That, I don't expect that from my Korean cinema. That, that, whoa, that, what is that? It was a dream. So uh, again, more, more fun with the visuals. This movie uh, from 2005 does some things with CGI and special, and I don't wanna call it special effects, but they, they did some fun stuff with uh, computers, uh, simulated camera work that was pulled off nicely. I mean, you could tell now that it's, it's aged a bit, but still, still holds its own. Um, effort was definitely put into it. And I wish I watched this movie 10, 15 years ago because this is uh, a competitor. Uh, it came out right around the same time as Kill Bill. And if you want a, a comparison to a film like this, I would say Kill Bill is a great comparison. The, the Kill Bill is filled with action. This is more a uh, thriller story. Um, again, more on the dark humor. Uh, there, there's a scene in, in jail where um, uh, a rather robust woman um, finds herself getting relieved by another uh, person, person with, within the prison cell with her uh, in the tub. Uh, and, and she gets her come up and thanks to protagonist. Um, funny, funny scene. The flashbacks to the way all of these people committed their crimes and 
uh, the, the way the movie jumps back and forth is, is, is quite flashy, quite funny. Uh, again, dark, but funny. Uh, the barbecue is just, I can't help but chuckle. Uh, these are fictional people. It's okay to laugh at fictional people who don't exist. Remember that. Fictional people aren't people, so they won't be offended if you laugh at them or their expense. The one thing that I think is most present in this film is the score. Again, uh, comparing it against the other two films in the Vengeance trilogy, which don't really have much to do with anything other than Vengeance is the, the big umbrella theme of all of these movies. The score is probably most present in Lady Vengeance and does a lot of heavy lifting and carries the film for quite a bit. The film does a, a great job of injecting some feeling when our, our, our protagonist, uh, you can't get a read of her in, in some scenes, especially early. There's, you, you, can't, you can't tell if she's just, just cold and, and void of, of feeling and, 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 and tear and, and all that stuff. Uh, there's a scene where, where she asks for her paycheck and just demands it. And then, then in, in the same scene, she helps her boss who has uh, what, what appears to be uh, Parkinson's, some sort of hand issue. She does the work for him. So, it, you know, it, it, half and half with her, but over the course of the film, she, you, you find where her soul in the center is. And by movie's end, she's, she's, she's full. Uh, there's, there's quite an arc taken with, with protagonist, even at the very beginning with the coronavirus shout out. It wasn't a, uh, by, by film's end, she, she's helping other people commit vengeance and there's, there's no pride in it. And I, again, Korean films, I think, have done this way better than any American movie, with the exception, again, with the exception of probably three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. Korean films, they do vengeance really well, and they, they give you the payoff really well, too. Sure, you're, you're, gonna, get, you're gonna get your revenge, but after that, what? Um, and there are scenes in this, uh, there's, you know, there's a climax where uh, she helps people to, to get revenge, vengeance, and um, you can tell that she, she's, she's doing something for them, yet it just doesn't, uh, it's just something that has to be experienced on their own. She knows there's no way around it. They, they can't let it go, but they're not going to be fulfilled. Um, uh, her character just constantly goes on a path of, of forgiveness, uh, if only for her daughter to get her daughter back. And uh, we'll leave that open. I'm try if if I've been vague, I apologize. I, I'm trying to, to skip over so much if I can, because I this is my favorite movie, and this is more like a vlog type series than reviews. So maybe I'll I'll I'll, I'll do a, a full on review where we could talk spoilers and stuff. But um, if you're at all intrigued, I would say go experience it for yourself. Stop listening to me, especially if you haven't seen it. Uh, if you've seen it and you're frustrated with me not talking about it, I understand. Uh, I, I'll probably come back and, and do something uh, about all three. Uh, I've, I've just started getting into South Korean films, mostly because of Parasite. And 2020, as brilliant a year as, it, as it's been, the one thing I could say I, I quite enjoy about 2020 is the fact that I've gotten such a great ed education in Korean film, and Lady Vengeance is right up there. Uh, one of my favorites, if, if it weren't for Parasite, believe it or not. Uh, Lady Vengeance is uh, just an incredibly 
welcome surprise. Uh, I, I enjoyed it very much. Uh, again, if, if I can compare it to something, Kill Bill without all the, 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 the loud action and, and the, you know, it, it, all the color that there is to, to Kill Bill, well, volume one at least. Um, this, is more, this is more like Kill Bill volume two, I guess is the best way to put it. Color isn't very prominent, but again, uh, I said it in a, in a video previously, and I want to say it again. The color orange is so prevalent in this series, and if you have the answer as to what the meaning behind orange is in this series or in Korean cinema, please let me know down below because there's a ball that's orange, there's a dress that somebody who dies in another film is orange. Orange is very prevalent in this movie, uh, excuse me, in, in the entire trilogy. And uh, I, I, I just, I've, I've looked and haven't found an answer. So if you have it, please, by all means, let me know down below. Other than that, if you have any other suggestions in regards to South Korean cinema, uh, thrillers, uh, vengeance movies, let me know down below. What did you think of the trilogy? That you can, you can go ahead and tell me that I'm wrong about my ranking and leave yours. Uh, open up a discussion if you'd like. Tell me what the hell orange means. If you enjoy the video, uh, doing me a favor and clicking like uh, helps helps me go further and, and make an, a legit review. Uh, if you if you want to see more and, and what I have to say in the future, uh, subscribing that that definitely helps both of us in that case and clicking the bell uh, because that's the only way YouTube wants people to learn about other people's content now is through the bell. Uh, I'd like to thank my patrons for making this content possible. We will talk to you again in 2021. I have been CP. You haven't.